So for today we are doing a very simple spicy cauliflower recipe. Um, this is my spin on sort of a buffalo cauliflower. Um, I know there are so many videos out there of buffalo cauliflower, but this is like I said my spin on it. I don't batter them. I have made them battered before, but I kind of have uh, reduced the step um, and just kept it very simple and they are still so delicious and also kind of conserves on a few calories as well if you're trying to watch calories and stuff like that. Um, there is a little bit of fat in it because I do use the vegan butter. But anyways, it's basically just three ingredients. Um, today I'm going to use two heads of cauliflower. You can use one or, you know, or as many as you want and just, you know, alter the you know, the amounts of everything else. And then I'm going to use some just basic hot sauce. I usually use the Sweet Baby Rays, which I have sitting here, um, which is only a tiny bit left. Um, but I'm using, going to also use the Berman's hot sauce. And it's just a very basic, uh, traditional, um, like buffalo hot sauce, if you, if you, you know, if you will. Um, but I get the Berman's is from all these really cheap, 85 cents, really can't beat it. Um, I also usually get the Sweet Baby Rays from there as well. Really inexpensive. I think it's only like $1.19. Um, and then I'm going to use the Smart Balance Butter. You can use Earth Balance Butter or any other vegan butter of your choice that you like. Um, we use different ones all the time. Right now, currently, this is the one that we have. So that's what I'm going to use. So like I said, basically three ingredients, cauliflower, hot sauce, and butter. So let's get started. And I'm going to show you what how to make this recipe. Okay, so first thing, as always, I'm going to cut up my cauliflower and I'm gonna throw it in a bowl and just uh, give it a little spray. I use a mixture of white vinegar and water to clean my veggies. I'm gonna spray it, let it sit for a few minutes and just rinse it so it's ready to go. Always clean your veggies. Even if they're organic, I like to clean them as well. Um, so I'm going to clean them and like I said, just cut them into small bite-sized pieces. Okay guys, so while I am waiting for the cauliflower to um, sit in the bowl and just uh, with the vinegar to, to clean it, I am going to preheat my oven. I'm going to put my oven on 425. And then also I got my baking sheets ready to go. I have two large baking, uh, you know, cookie sheets, I guess you could call them. Uh, one is slightly bigger than the other, but doesn't matter. Um, I usually use two, one, if you do one head of cauliflower, one, pan should be fine um, just so you could spread it out one e one even layer uh, so what I did was I covered them with parchment and you don't have to put any sort of oil or anything um, it you know it should come right off the parchment paper so like I said so I just lined them with parchment paper and they are all ready to go while the oven is preheating and then I'm gonna go rinse that cauliflower Okay, so the cauliflower is all rinsed and ready to go in the oven. I usually just lay it out on a paper towel just to get some of the water off of it uh, because I find if, if it is too wet from being rinsed off, it may stick to the parchment. So I try to get as much water off of it as possible. Just like I said, one paper towel is fine. And I'm just going to get it on the cookie sheet. So there we go. I have them laid out on the cookie sheets all ready to go in the oven. And like I said, I don't put anything else on them. I just spread them out evenly. Also make sure you cut them, you know, pretty evenly sized so that way they all cook at the same, uh, at the same pace. Um, so now I'm going to throw them in the oven. Don't forget, oven 425. And I'm going to cook them until they start to get lightly browned. Okay guys, so while my cauliflower is finishing up, I usually do this like within like the last five minutes before I take the cauliflower out of the oven. I'm going to take a quarter cup of the, the vegan butter and I'm just gonna melt it in the microwave, usually about 30 seconds, just till it gets uh, melt, completely melted. And then I'm going to take a cup of the hot sauce and just add it to the melted butter. And then I'm just gonna stir that up and that will be our topping for our buffalo cauliflower. Okay, so this is what the cauliflower will usually look like by the time it is, you know, like I said, slightly browned and, you know, just cooked 
um, slightly soft because it's going to cook more once you put the hot sauce on it. So I mixed up the butter and the, the melted butter and the hot sauce. So what I'm going to do is just divide it. You can do put it on any way you want. You can use a, a pastry brush and brush it on. Usually what I do is I just I just dump it in the pan and just toss it all into the cauliflower. Just makes it quick and easy. But you can do it any way you want. This is, like I said, a very simple, easy recipe. So whatever works for you or whatever kitchen utensils that you have. So what I, like I said, I'm just going to divide it up and toss it. And I will be throwing it back in the oven. Okay, so there is the cauliflower all coated and ready to go. I just used some tongs and just tossed it so it's fully coated in that hot sauce and I'm going to throw it back in the oven the oven is still on 425 and I'm going to just going to cook these once again until they are browned and a little crispy and just so delicious you guys are going to love this recipe so this is it this is the cauliflower right out of the oven um, all ovens are going to vary so just you know keep an eye on it and until it gets nice and brown and crispy you know as much as you want um, I like mine extra crispy so I usually cook them you know like till they get very browned on top um, and that is basically it and I usually prep this ahead I put it in a bowl so it's all ready to go whenever I want it I sometimes put it on rice, I top it on a salad. You can even make tacos and use this as your meat, sort of. Um, but this is a great dish. I hope you guys enjoy it. And leave your comments down below if you try it. If you do try it and you are on Instagram, tag me over there so I can see it. And until next time, I will see you soon. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.